everybody, how's it going? I'm Groovy Lava Squirrel Medic, and we are back for another short film Friday. Yeah. And I'm here with my daughter Devin. So we are gonna be doing another short film from Oat Studio, which uh if y'all know like the movie like District 9 and stuff like that, it's the same guy who directed those films for like a small budget. He is the one that runs it's his studio o oat studio is his studio so we have a another recommendation from uh my brother jimmy uh this one is called firebase and all i know is it's like vietnam so i don't know if it's like a war thing or whatever but we're gonna see are you excited i'm trying to remember what vietnam was vietnam the war in vietnam it's a war movie Oh, okay. All right. So are you excited? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. All right. So we're going to make it big so y'all can see the movie. We do have closed captioning on. And uh, I'm excited. Uh, we're going to try not to pause it that much. And uh, if we do pause it, we'll try to do it when they're not talking or anything. It's just during action, maybe. Are you ready? Yes. All right. So we got it big. We're putting in our earbuds, and uh, we got a drink, yeah. And we are ready for showtime. Ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Let's rock. That's still really loud. This world is not our permanent home. We are looking forward to a home yet to come. Hebrews 13, 14. What? Ugh. What was that? That doesn't look normal. I'm sorry. So, what was floating in the air, that first thing of floating in the air, it was like a helicopter or something that was like just floating. Not flying, it was just floating. And then you had all the bodies and stuff. So we're looking at supernatural stuff. All right, okay. Fifteen thousand fatalities. That's creepy. Not heavy those things are. Thanks. Vietnam, nineteen seventy. Thank you. 
Don't go in there! No! Yes. Idiot. If you hear a crazy sound and it's coming from a dark hole, don't go in there. Yeah, you drop something down there for us. Yeah, a grenade. Like drop a grenade. No, you drop something down there and see how deep it is, and then you go down there. No, just drop a grenade. It's fine. Where's his gun? Why is he fighting with a stick? I know. He's stupid enough to go down a random hole. What do you expect? Should have done that to begin with. Fun. Hi. I know what I'm looking for. Was that a zombie? He's all like blown apart and stuff. No, it's like the zombies from the last of us. What? It's like the zombies from the last of us. I need some old Vietnam music. From your friend, Sergeant Hines. When you wandered off, your unit thought you had deserted. Wanted you court martial. You're still drawn to it. You have to kill it, yeah? <sighs> Too late, though. River God did this three days ago. Get some men up here to clean this up. River God? Come on, let's head out. I have something to show you. Jake Palmer. Yeah, Major Brickerson. Did 
Chase Doc told me you might be able to shed some light on some things for us. We got our asses whipped by a VC ambush. We wait for reinforcements. When those soldiers came, they were, uh... They were monsters in the shape of men. Uh, they wouldn't die, not by shooting them. So we retreated to Firebase Tar Heel, or we tried to, but Tar Heel is gone. It's just fucking gone. That's when I called an airstrike. We lit that jungle on fire. We burned everything. Explain. Are you tired? Yeah. <laughs> Here, you can leave one out so we can hear and you can still hear when I say stuff. Thank you. You alright? Yeah. Alright, sit up, stay awake. I know it's been a long day, it's been a long week, but let's enjoy. This doesn't make sense. Look, I'm not here to connect the dots for you. The events at Tar Heel are classified. I got men in this unit I trust. Men I know, men I shed blood with, and they're saying things happen to them that they can't explain. My boys are saying they saw the devil. The devil? The devil. Yes. I want your men to help us kill the devil. Yeah. I think the CIA better start to explain what the fuck is going on here, or you're gonna have a mutiny on your hands. They want to help kill that man. State your name. Bracken. Bracken. Corporal Richard Bracken, sir. All right. Please recount the events at Firebase Tar Heel. How did you get burned? What happened? Ugh. Gross. They started weird. There was some, uh, something along the riverbank. They have really good specialists. He hasn't found it. Makeup. Yeah. Call came down for us to get some intel on it. The camera guys and air cab were sent with us. And we saw it. It was, uh. I don't know what it was. What happened to Firebase Tar Heel Corporal? We were shooting everywhere. They had us pinned down. What is just all of my buddies got fucked up? I mean, bad. jungle. I don't know. Let's see. Looking at that thing. Okay. And next, I'm in South Carolina back on the day we were going to deploy. I don't mean like a dream or nothing. I mean, I was in America. And? 
planes. They were all destroyed. And we were under attack. Russian aircraft. But not like Megs or nothing. That's a spaceship. Who's the name like a propane flame napalm. And everyone was burning. They were burning us. Soldiers burning. Like hell. Who's that? Like little Jawas from Star Wars in the. Did that happen at Charleston Air Base? Slow sh tank thing. Are they all dead? You don't know. Don't Charleston's know. safe. No, but it did happen. It did. Because then, uh. Freddy and the boys. They pulled me out of the ditch. I was still on fire. Here. Yeah. Here. In the jungle. So, in his head, he was back in America. He got caught on fire in America. I was like... But he here was on again, fire in Vietnam. Fire. I don't know. Confusing. Like they pulled me out of South Carolina into Vietnam. Buddies were along the riverbank. He's raising the dead up like ghosts. He's making their uh, He's their a insides like heart, like a cockroach. But they look like spiders or something. I asked if anyone else had seen uh, the god. No one else had. He's delusional. <sighs> Thank you, Sergeant Bracken. Because being Delulu is a Delulu. Well, Corporal Bracken will be flown back to the States, enrolled in MK's search, and his name will be stricken off the rolls here. He'll officially be MIA along with the 318 other Americans lost at Tar Heel. As of this moment, Firebase Tar Heel never existed. See, the government just covers everything up. Never trust the government. Get some rest. We head out in a few hours. I don't sleep anymore. Try. So we have a meat armor necromancer who's raising people up from the dead.
These men, they're gonna die tonight. You know that, right? I'm not sure you care if these soldiers live or die. Uh, you don't even care if you live or die. Maybe that's how it works. Who are you? What are you becoming? These details are slipping away from you, aren't they? Just, I can help. Just let him go stab the thing with the pokey stick. Let's go. Stop talking, more killing. Because I have these dreams. More like visions. It's trying to tell me something. I just can't understand what it's saying. It just sounds like noise. <laughs> spoke to soldiers in your previous unit. I've heard all the accounts about you. Hines isn't meant to die. Hines is protected by a divine hand. He's a, a knockoff John Rambo. Maybe Rambo? You've never even seen Rambo? Objects were put in your path to shield you. Put there to protect you at exactly the right moment. To shield you from the right piece of shrapnel. It's almost as if life itself knew you were coming. The universe keeping you alive, saving you as though it has a plan for you. That's from Terminator. <laughs> and the river god? So basically, he's that the man, man you're compelled to hunt? Us, so he, doesn't he is an error. A mistake, plain and simple. Life wants him gone. But what is he? A simple villager. Oh, is it the guy that he was He has no connection to the Viet Cong. He had a wife. He had children. Revenge. He was pushed by grief to the point where the very fabric tore around him. local villagers who knew him. They began calling him the River God. And he wandered the Mekong, leaving a wake of destruction. I don't even think he knows he's doing these things. These horrors manifesting reality through his subconscious thoughts, changing matter inside the dead, reanimating them as visions of his own hell. Eventually, he wandered into an NVA base, begging for help. By that point, his flesh had entirely burned off. He's just a walking skeleton? Visibility. Telepathy. As a god walking the earth, his mind is set free.
We will set the jungle on fire. Burn everything until flaming gel splatters across him, lighting him up for us to track. We will find him. This is the electromagnetic coil gun. It's firing projectiles at about 120 at the speed of light. Now this, this is the real jewel. It creates a magnetosphere, positive, negative polarity. Everything about this is designed to keep reality unbroken so you can function. You will be protected from the breakdown in space-time. Okay, so I'm looking at that suit and everything. They're making him the Doom Slayer from, like, Doom. Rip and tear. He's got awesome armor. He's got the helmet and everything. It's going to be awesome. All right. Got two more minutes. Let's watch them all die. We call it a relativity capsule. It amplifies the gift you already have. See the battle? Where are you going? She's being weird. So, we're going to talk as the credits roll and we'll leave it up so that way people get credit for what they do. Uh, so, Oat Studio Firebase. The premise is so awesome. Now, I can tell you with the floating stuff and the floating bodies and the tanks and everything, like, that gave me, like, an eerie feeling. Like, that's just not right. And the graphics with the skin coming off and all that stuff and the wounds that they did, they did a great job of that. Uh, again, if you watch these short films, but I want to see a whole movie of this because... Like he put on the armor. He was ready to go rip and tear. But they just stopped. Now, when it comes to short films, last week we gave uh, Psycho, what, an eight, a seven? I liked it. If it would have got eight more minutes, it's had going into the battle, so I show them fighting. I would have given it a better score, but this one, I liked it, but it's a six. I, I think they could have at least shown Why are you upset? did you like about it um i liked the concept of like oh we have to go defeat this monster and everything floating up especially like all the blood like going up to yeah that was cool blood. i mean the gra they do a really good job on graphics for something that is not hollywood budget they do a really good job i just wish we could have got i have a feeling that every time we watch these short films there's never going to be an ending. It's just going to be a build-up, and then it's just... <laughs> but I would totally love to see him in the armor going into battle and just, like, destroying everything and then having one big clash with the river god and him. That'd be awesome. Like a Demon Slayer battle? Yeah, a Demon Slayer battle. So... Water form. Nice. <laughs> Water form. First level. <sighs> But, so what's your ranking of this one? Again, we're comparing it to last week's and what you think about it overall. So give me a number. I rated it a six. What would you rate it? 
I like the graphics and the whole entire concept, but if it was like, I want to see the battle! But since I can't, I'm sadly going to have to rate this a 5 out of 10. A 5 out of 10, so only half. So, Jimmy? 5 and 6 out of 10, so we're going to give it a 5.5. That is our overall score. Uh... I did enjoy it. I just wish it would have had more. So you ready to get out of here? Yes. All right. So that was uh, Firebase from Oat Studios. We enjoyed it. I just wish it, we both wish it had more. Oat Studios, if you ever see this video, make an ending, <sighs> please. But with that, we're going to get out of here. So thank you very much for hanging out with us on Short Film Friday. Uh, let us know if there's another short film that you would like us to react to because, as you see, we don't cut anything. We're just giving our raw reaction. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed it with us, and we're going to get out of here. So, from Groovy Lava Squirrel Medic and my daughter, Devin, a.k.a. Magma Monkey, <laughs> we're going to get out of here. But from us to you, we love you, we thank you, and we'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, guys.